those of us that do work in the area of media institutions and politics focus on issues and understanding the ways that political institutions really structure our media environment. One of the ways in which my work comes together is in a recent book called Black Software, The Internet and Racial Justice from the Afronet to Black Lives Matter. And in that book, I look at the history of black people's relationship to the internet and to computing technology from the 1960s up to our present and really trying to understand the ways in which computing technology have disparately impacted communities of color as well as looking at how uh, African Americans and other communities of color marshal technology uh, to liberate themselves and to fight for racial justice. Other colleagues that do work in media institution and politics look at systems and structures to try to understand how that impacts our media environment. And that may be folks like my colleague, Dr. Rod Benson, who looks at the landscape of news and the ways that news organizations have changed and the ways that that impacts both the work of journalists, but also the news and information that gets put out into the public sphere. So how does the economics, the structure of news organizations impact what the public receives and what news that they use to form their opinions and impact on public policy. Others of my colleagues, like Dr. Susan Murray, look at the history of television and particularly the ways in which the advent of color television was produced and the impact that had on what we were seeing uh, on the screen and the way in which that created a particular type of public and relationship to both technology but also thinking about our everyday lives.